One of the things that I've found a real challenge is to get a sketch or soft pastel look to an image. This is the effect that I've been trying to achieve and I finally found a technique to do it. Usually if you use a, a brush or some type of a filter, you end up with an image that has some type of a repeated mathematical pattern in it and it just it just looks like it was created using a piece of software and not drawn. So this is a technique that I finally found that will create this effect of having a nice soft pencil drawing. Let's start with your image. And the other thing I had mentioned that most of these images that I would like to do this to are black and white. The uh, I don't know how well it will work with color yet, I haven't tried it, but on the black and white images it seems to work pretty well. First thing we have to do is we want to uh, duplicate our background, block the first one. This is just to prevent us from inadvertently working on it so that we always have an original to, to draw from. Now I want to put this on a background. I want to draw to a background. So I'm going to go on, let's see where it is here. I'm going to get down here and I'm going to go to pattern. And uh, I have a canvas, I mean an old paper type uh, oops, pattern in here. These patterns are available on my website if you want them. Okay, right there. And I'm going to change because I want to get these lines a little further away from the edges. Oop, wrong way. There we go. And this will give us the paper look because I'm actually going to be placing the image on a piece of paper. Now I'm going to move this under that. And now I'm going to create a mask that's going to mask out the image. Go to layers, go to mask, and say hide all. It's going to create a mask with a black fill in it. Now I'm going to use the pencil tool to do this. Um, you can change the size of the pencil. I've found it, no, if you vary between five and one, you're going to get an interesting effect. I'm going to do all of this, I think, on five. So I'm just going to now come back and click. I'm doing this on a tablet, but it can be done with a mouse. You don't have to have a tablet to do this technique. Now, remember, the thing that we're trying to achieve is a random effect. Um, so I'm just going to go in and start, you want this on white, you want it on 100% or 100% 100 opacity so that when I draw I just get a line. Now the object is to go in and just make random lines until you reveal the object. Now I have a, a speeded up version of this which I'll run for you because it it takes almost an hour to get this the way I want it to be. Now, one of the things I haven't tried yet, but I think it would be interesting, is if you went and actually varied the pencil sizes a little bit. Um, and you can see how you get a much lighter, and then, let's try the eight. Obviously, the bigger the pencil, the faster it's going to go. But I think that, no. Under 5 to 5, you're going to get something that really looks like a uh, drawing.
Now that the sketching process is finished, this is what it would look like. Now what I want to do now is, is work the image up to get more of a drawing effect into it. So one of the first things I wanted to do is I added in some textured layers. Now you want a layer that's going to brighten the image up. So I picked this bright color here, but we also want to darken the edges. So I selected another image to darken the edges. Now as we can see, the lightning one is on overlay because overlay tends to lighten the image. See, if I went up and I went to multiply on this, it would darken the image. So I either use overlay or lighten soft light to lighten the image. Now the next one is designed to darken the edges or darken the image. On this case I have it on overlay but I might have wanted to go to multiply. But in this particular case I decided to use overlay for both. Now I have the feel in the color that I want but the lines are still a little too predominant. So what I did was I duplicated the background and moved it up. So I had this. Then I went to opacity and just toned this down just to bring back a little bit more detail. Then I merged all of the images to a new layer. And I needed to do this because the next step I was going to do is I was going to run it through a filter called Snap Art. And we can see how the Snap Art has softened it up. Now I'm going to demonstrate how the soft Snap Art works. So I'm going to shut this off. So here is my collapsed image with all the layers below. I just go up to Filter. I go down to Snap Art, Snap Art 4, which is the newest one, and it opens up. Now we have a tremendous amount of choices here, and that's one of the things I like about this particular piece of software. But because I just want to get a quick, simple effect on this one, I go down and I click on Watercolor. And you can see down here I have different amounts or effects that I can get using the watercolor filter. But what I want is detail because all I want to do is slightly soften the image. Now I can come on over here and I can adjust this. I can make the brush size larger or smaller which will be more detail. I can use increase the photographic effect of the image. Now I'm just going to cancel this because we've already done it but if you want to do it you just and this is the effect here is the image right here and again if I take it up to 100% opacity that's whoops sorry if I take it up to 100% opacity you can see that's what it would look like so what I do is I just go in and adjust this to soften the image just enough to get the effect I wanted Now, you could probably do this by just adding a Gaussian blur layer in here and get the similar effect. But I, I like the, the watercolor effect because it gives me more control. But So these are the steps that I use to produce this particular effect of a soft drawing. I hope you find this helpful. If you have, let me know. And if you did find it helpful, please click like for me. Thanks a lot. See you later.